So for this week's video, we're going to do a little thrift with me. I just want to preface before I start the video that I am very sorry for how incredibly awkward I am when I thrift in public. I can sit and talk to the camera for hours and hours, but I cannot talk to a camera when someone else is next to me or other people are in the store. I feel very awkward and I cannot talk. Okay, let's get started. Bye! what I found while thrifting out and about. I'll start with clothes like I always do. I found these vintage Man in the USA Wranglers. They're just like a very interesting wash. And then I found this pair of vintage shorts. They're like a weird, like a, what do you call them? Bermuda shorts, but they're by the brand Compagni BX, but they fit me perfectly. Then I found this 70s little acrylic sweater, and this one just has some brown details on it, and it's by the brand Interwoven. Now, I've been trying to find a Kowichin, Kowichin knitted sweater forever. It's not really a Kowichin sweater, it kind of is. It's like a very thick hand knitted cardigan sweater. It's very cute. I love the sleeves. I found this sweater. I think it's like 60s, 70s. It's like another one of those tie wrap cardigan sweaters, but this one's just all cream. By the brand Sakri Hand Fashion Knitwear California. I found some vintage t-shirts. I found this one and it's just from Mexico. Mazatan, Mexico? If I'm saying that right, I don't know. And it has a cute little like sea scene. I feel like it's very summery. And then I found another single stitch shirt that's very soft, but this one says Michigan State. I have this little crochet top and they have like little buttons in the front and I believe someone hand crocheted it. This next item I believe is from the 30s based off of how it's made and looks and the collar is very 30s. It's a wool like little cardigan. It is in wonderful shape. It used to have a tag on the inside but something happened to it. I found this book. I collect these books. They're the Old West Time Life books. This one is just on the railroads. There's all about all the old west kind of things. Very interesting. I found this like little Art Deco porcelain soap dish. I don't know if it's Art Deco. I can't read what's on the bottom there, but it looks like it. I need to replace my soap dish that I have. And then I found some salt and pepper shakers. I found, I'm gonna show you these ones first. I found these ones. They're from the World's Fair Expo from 1974. They're really cute little guys. I love finding like World's Fair kind of things. And then I found these salt and pepper shakers that say I got smacked. No, not smashed. I got mashed in Idaho. They're like little mashed cups. I found this fruit basket, hanging fruit basket. I've been wanting one of these for quite some time now. This is my favorite item that I found. And it's this vintage fan and it's by Zero McGraw Electric Company and it's just a cute little fan. I really love the color green that it is and it seems to be in like really great shape. It's very heavy but I don't know if it works. I'm afraid to plug it in honestly. And then the last time I found was this Arway Northern Furniture Co. Mid-century nightstand. I really love it. I've been wanting a new nightstand because I have one already but I want to replace it with a mid-century one. So I'm excited to fix it up. It's kind of in a beat up shape. I am going to do a little thrift haul 
of what I got yesterday. So I found this two-piece set. I believe it's from the 70s because the pants are kind of like a bell-bottom kind of style. And the top is a cardigan that has buttons. And then it has two little pockets that kind of have little thunderbirds on them. Kind of bummed that it doesn't fit me. It's a little too big. And then I found this 80s dress. It's not a dress, it's actually a romper, but I thought it was a really cute little romper. It has little polka dots on it and it's a navy blue, a very dark navy blue. It has a cute little white collar and it's made in the USA and it's by Ultra Dress New York. Then I found this very pink dress it's kind of like a little prairie dress and it has like a cinched waist and it's kind of poofy in the front and it has like a little crochet floral flower design i'm super excited about these pants these are some military pants that i believe are from the 60s and they're just like these really cute green trouser pants and they fit me perfectly and i'm so excited about them i'm gonna be wearing them all the time and then i found a 70s little dress and i don't know what the brand was it did have like a tag in it and then the tag fell out but the top is like velvet and it has this really pretty paisley kind of fabric and for the rest of the dress and then i found this a 70s sweater and it has cute little sailboats on the front and it's by jeans west and then i found some 60s 70s little tops these are just some button-ups i found this pink one this floral pink one. I thought it was very cool for like spring and summertime. And then I also found this one that has like a more muted colors, but the fabric is so pretty. I think someone made these. Now we're going to get into knickknacks and home decor type things. I found this Farabo wool and acrylic blanket. I always love these vintage wool blankets. I think they're perfect for putting around my house and decorating with. And and then I didn't thrift this and you're probably like why is she showing me a hanger but my parents gave me this hanger because it's vintage but it's really cool because it says hotels statler on it and it says all the different locations they had i looked this hotel up they are no longer in business and i want to use it for decorating my house with i'm gonna probably put it on the wall and maybe hang something off of it we'll see and then i found some cat's tail at the thrift store as well i feel like i could have just gone to the creek by my house and <laughs> got some myself but these were there and i like decorating my house with like cat's tail and things from nature and I actually like real kind of things I don't really like the fake oral things I think it's because I I know it's fake and I'm just like mm, I want the real thing I'm sorry. I found this bag it's a bag that's filled with Christmas stuff animals and like ornaments and stuff like that and it was five dollars I bought that big old bag only for this. <laughs> I found a few little Christmas decorating items. I found this little gingerbread man <laughs> that is absolutely creepy and that's what I love about vintage Christmas decor because it's creepy as heck and it's so cute. And I'm pretty positive someone made him. I also found this candy cane ornament that someone made. What is a Christmas haul without finding some creepy ass Santas? I just found three of these creepy Santas and one has a horn, a wreath, and a present. And they are so creepy with their little googly eyes, their big old red nose. The first place I went to was an antique store and I found this little cute puppy. And it was labeled, so that was from the 1930s, which is pretty cool. It's made in Japan, and it's just a cute little dodge. And then another thing I got at the antique shop is this bucket. I've been wanting to collect some of these pails because I think they'd be really good for when I do my gardening and I can throw scraps in there or something, or just to decorate my home with. I feel like they have many uses, and I really liked this one. Okay, the main reason why I went to that antique shop was I wanted this thermos. And it's just by the brand Thermos. 
and it says holiday on it and it's rusty on the bottom and it's a really pretty like green i feel like my house has a lot of this green color and then at the thrift store i found another thermos and this one is also by the brand thermos this one does not have rust on the bottom, but the bottom is still pretty cool. It's just black and it has a really cool like red stripe on it. I just want an army of thermoses. Once I gather my army, I will take over the world. At the thrift store, I found two mugs. I found this Boy Scout National Scout Jamboree 1977 mug. I love finding vintage Boy Scout stuff. So I'm so excited about this mug. And then I found this Sequoia and Kings Canyon National Park mug. I love finding National Park mugs. So that is the end of this little thrift with me and thrift haul. Let me know if you guys like me including the thrift haul or do you want just a thrift with me and then I'll do another video with a thrift haul. Or do you like them combined together? Let me know in the comments what you think and if you'd like you can also follow me on Instagram where I post stuff. And I also have a Etsy if you guys want to check that out as well where I sell some of my vintage that I find. That is the end of this video. I hope you guys have a great day. Later. Bye.